For today's video, we're going to get some gameplay with the Frostbite Sniper Rifle. I was able to get my first Frostbite from the very first Survive the Holidays event back in 2017, but they are selling the Frostbite again in the weekly store this week, and it's going to cost 1680 gold. And let's go ahead and check out the perks that we got on our second one, just to see if it's the same perks that we got on our first. Okay, so it looks like it came with the same perks as our first Frostbite. And those perks are water damage, damage, weapon stability, crit rating, damage, and getting five headshots in a row increases ranged weapon damage by 30% for 10 seconds. And at the very bottom, it says sniper rifle semi-automatic, a mid to long range rifle that deals good damage and can be fired quickly, scoped for additional downside to accuracy. And since this is our first time getting gameplay with the frostbite, we're going to go ahead and keep the original perks for now. But I do want to quickly scroll over all of the slots to show you all of the available options. And as you can tell, you can't change the element on it. And here's what the frostbite looks like up close. I'm going to go ahead and spin it all the way around real quick so you can see the entire thing. But yeah, that's what it looks like. As for our loadout, we're going to be using Skull Ranger Ramirez with Ted Shot Jess in our support slot and Quick Draw Calamity in our tactical slot. All right, so the mission we're going to do is this level 100 fight the category 3 storm and Cookies is going to be helping us out. All right, so before we get into the gameplay, I did want to test it out against this level 100 smasher. Uh, the first thing I should point out is that it has 10 rounds in the magazine with our current rolls. And it also uses medium bullets. And like I said earlier, you're going to want to try to go for headshots to increase your damage even more. But yeah, it took us 15 shots to take out that smasher. You got this, Commander. All right, here we go, people. We got fire enemies too, which is perfect. Obviously, you want to use water weapons on fire enemies. And we're going to try to use our frostbite throughout the entire defense. Let me know if you need help. <laughs> uh, we did make a couple of tunnels. Oh man, that's right, Husky. There we go. We did make a couple of tunnels to help us out. And it's like we got a smasher right here. So we got smashers on this one, Cookies. Yeah. Oh no, and he's charging already. I'm on my way. No, we're good up here. We're good. Yeah, everything is. Good. I am out of metal though. I'm out of metal. Yeah. Oh I'm, man. I'm also too running out of metal. All right. So it looks like C is uh, is really holding up. You know, I'm just gonna place a turret over here just to be sure. Smasher. So I'm not going to be able to repair since we did build out of metal. I'm not going to be able to repair. But if they destroy anything, I'll just replace it with brick. All right. Fire smash. And he's charging. Husk. And he's down. Perfect. We got another smasher too. And he's charging as well. Oh, man. So yeah, we are expected to get a new patch today. And with that patch, we're supposed to get Candy Valley Part 3. Uh, if y'all would like me to stream it, let me know in the comments below. But I was thinking we'll just try to uh, run through the quest as quickly as possible. So we can get gameplay of the new Mythic. Because we are supposed to get a new Mythic Hero as a reward from Candy Valley Part 3. So I was going to try to run through the quest as quickly as possible and get gameplay of that. But if y'all would like me to stream uh, the new quest, then let me know in the comments below. Oh, we just got five headshots in a row. We should have an increase in damage. Probably would have been more useful if we actually had something to shoot at right there. Oh. We got another five headshots. Perfect. Oh man, normally I don't get this many headshots. Hey, when do you think uh, when the new missions come in or whatever they're called, do you think they're going to be a bit more complex, like you know, a little hard when it comes to endless waves? Well, they said we're expected to get uh, something major, like a big uh, decision or something like that's going to happen with part three. So. Mm -hmm. Is the, I'm expecting like either a unique mission or something going. major to go down. Is the endless waves gonna oh. be sort of like the horde mass kind of, right? No, I think it's gonna be similar to the first Survivor Storm event. I'm talking about Frost Knight. 
Yeah, well, you, it's like the endless way. Little help here. Yeah, I think it's gonna be similar to the first uh, survive the storm okay. event. Okay. Okay. Yes. Or survive the holidays event. Oh, cause like you know how. I don't think it's gonna be it, like horror uh -huh. fish. Yeah. That's what I was saying because when I looked at it, I was like. Endless yeah. Ways feels sort of like Horde Bash because they keep spawning and spawning, you know? Enemy in my sights. I guess I should probably also uh, show the reload speed. I'll go ahead and reload real quick. It's not too bad. And uh, here's the normal fire rate. Or I guess uh, since we're playing with Urban Assault, it's going to increase when we get headshots. So I'll go ahead and show the fire. Oh no! Oh my goodness! Cookies. Yeah, get some help, man. Get some help. Or something. Yeah. We're getting take uh, out the tech. We're getting Cheeto dust all over here. All right. So here's the normal fire rate. Without any fire rate perks. Or fire rate buffs. Um, quick, uh, and, quick thing. Uh, we're not getting. Uh -huh, go ahead. And as soon as I get a headshot, I'll show you the fire rate with Urban Assault. Uh, the cool thing is that we're not getting attacked on A. And here's the fire rate when you get headshots with Urban Assault. And you see it's a little bit quicker. But even without that buff, the fire rate is still really fast for the frostbite. Alright, now what was you saying, Cookies? Um, what I was saying is that A is not getting attacked, which is good. Oh, they're only attacking two of the atlases? Yeah, A is not getting attacked. They blew up one of our tunnels. Uh, we're getting the mini boss. Mini boss. It's a, it's a, I uh, see him. Yep, smash a mini boss. Nope. Let's see what kind of, uh, uh acid pool tank nature smasher. modifiers we uh, get. Hold on, let's go ahead and use our mini gun because we got a lot of smashers here. Yeah, uh, we, we got uh, you got a slow fill cookie? I just used it. Alright, I'm trying to get rid of all this. Oh, there he is. Nature. Uh, do you have a fire weapon? Uh, <gasps> I have no health. Get away, oh get no, away, get away, get away, get away, get away. I got you. I got you. Uh, away, if you away. have a fire weapon, Smasher spotted. might want to use it on the mini gonna, boss. Uh, commando. There we go. He's charging again. Run, 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 run. He's halfway dead, there. though. We're good. Let's get him out of here. He uh, yeah, I did have down. to cheat right there because yeah. uh, it was a nature nope. smasher, and you got to use fire weapons on nature smashers or mini boss. And the frostbite does water damage, so I did have to cheat right there and use another weapon. My bad, people. It happens. <laughs> uh, good news is we haven't died yet, and we only have a minute and a half left. So we have a lot of lobbers over here towards the, what is this, towards the east? Yeah, they're coming from the east and north, I think, but they're, they're not coming to A. Really cool. uh, but yeah, to sum things up with the frostbite, I really don't use it that often. Sometimes I'll craft it for Grandpa if we have fire enemies. Atlas needs help. It doesn't really do as much damage as some other snipers. Flinger! Yeah. He is taking damage, A1. Yeah, I see it. I'll close it off. All hands, all hands. But it does have a really fast fire rate, and the reload speed's not too bad either. Okay, we're getting. So it's not really a weapon I use that often, but it is a weapon I craft for my defender. Uh, but for those of you who have tried it, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. For those of you who got a chance to change your roles, let me know what roles you would recommend with it. 30 seconds left to go. And I'm just going to spend the last 30 seconds trying not to die Three. here. Help me out. I sort of prefer, especially if they're like close, I sort of prefer to just uh, not aim down sights. Flinger. I feel like I'm a little bit more accurate and I can get more shots off. But if the further away I do aim down sights, and like I said, when it comes to the frostbite, you definitely want to try to go for headshots. And try to get that bonus to where if you get five headshots in a row, it's going to increase your overall damage. Bonus challenge success. Good job, team. But yeah, I do like the way it looks, but I don't really consider it to be one of the best snipers in terms of damage. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if y'all want me to stream 
uh, the finale, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'm just going to try to run through the quest as quickly as possible and upload gameplay of the new Mythic. Oh, we also got some V-Bucks. But yeah, that'll do it for our first Frostbite gameplay. Big shout out to Cookies for helping us out. Hope y'all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.